Hi guys, welcome back to Calligraphy Masters channel. This is the second reaction on the channel. And today I'm happy to react with my brother and uh, friend, teammate, te team crew, whatever, <laughs> from <laughs> Calligraphy Masters. The first person who said yes to the idea of Calligraphy Masters, Tio Swan. Hi guys, <laughs> thank you Milan for having me here. Yeah. Bro, when you, when you hear the word master, and speci more specific Calligraphy Master, what does come to your mind? <laughs> well, masters, of course. <laughs> the old masters. The ones that I collect books from and the ones that I admire since I was a kid. Okay. So, guys, today, uh, Tio Swan chose uh, four calligraphers, uh, four calligraphy masters that uh, we're going to react to their work. And uh, their names are? Well, we're going to start with... Christopher Hannes, and we can continue with Hermann Zapf, then Rudolf Koch, and Rudolf Spemann. Okay, that's, that sounds like a good idea. Are, like, I know like Hermann Zapf is not living anymore, but uh, besides uh, Christopher Hannes... Uh, they are all gone. Yeah? Oh, man. Like there's there's so many treasures in scriptorium. Like yeah, I could, I been... could spend an hour to talk the, well, talking about <laughs> the wall behind me only. Yeah, because you see Victor Kant, uh, you see my wife, you see Michael Ward, John Stevens, Daniel Tozzi. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, guys, I don't. I, I guess a lot of you have been already in the scriptorium, but if you haven't being in scriptorium this is based in berlin germany in germany whenever you have a chance you have to visit scriptorium berlin and this is a, a treasure place i'm always happy to give a tour around our gallery i really i can't wait to come to berlin <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah we gotta do something again <laughs> uh, we're gonna start with uh, christopher hannes and yes to be honest like uh, all the names that you chose to react to I know them as calligraphers. I know some of the work of Christopher Hannes and of course some of Christopher of <laughs> some of uh, Hermann Zaff, but uh, in general you're much more familiar and uh, you know much more about the guys so you, just let me let's sh share your thoughts about the work and if you know any specific info about it that'd be super nice. Well, Christopher Hannes first of all he's a, a great master. He, he dedicated his life to letter forms and you can see that in his works. But what struck me the most, uh, I feel very grateful and very happy that I was able to meet him in person and to host him uh, in Scriptorium. He was teaching here in 2019 and seeing his uh, work and approach live is something that is just, just impossible to describe because you see the energy, you see the skill. You think, okay, you know, calligraphers, you can sit down, just, you know, write something, yeah, cool. Man, when Christopher is at the desk and he's showing his skills, it's another world. Then everything you learned before, everything you think you know or you can do is becoming like this, <laughs> this big. <laughs> Because suddenly, like the whole new universe is um, opening in front of you, and this is like the, the the one thing about meeting someone in person and seeing how how he's uh, working live. This is uh, incredible, and I'm very happy and lucky to have a few books by Christopher. Um, I can't see the preview of uh, what I'm showing. I don't know if I. This is see it here. Uh, logos. Yeah, this is a, a book by Christopher Hannes uh, with uh, the logo types that he designed, and each book comes with uh, with a handmade uh, title here. Is this from uh, the book? This is from the book exactly. So that's the book with the. I mean, look at the dedication with pencil. Hmm. I don't know if you can see it there. Yes, yes, I can. Um, those are little treasures, you know, the, the things that you can see here. And there's no uh, digital manipulation. It's all pure scans. You can see the structure of the, of the pen. Yes. 
Man, dude. I mean, come on. Like... If you ever win a Nobel Prize, <laughs> you're going to get the diploma written by Christopher Hannes. So. <laughs> for, for real? Yes. For real? Yeah. Man, dude, dude, like, how, how are there such calligraphers even existing, man? And are people like uh, me even able to reach such heights? <laughs> like, uh, you, you know, do you know how many years he's been doing calligraphy? I don't know exactly. I don't remember. I guess he told us during the workshop, but uh, the work speaks for oh. itself, you know. Um, yeah. He recently published uh, another book. Calligraphy and Lettering by Christopher Hannes. It was a Kickstarter project. Um, another tre another treasure, really. Like this, this but book. Does this mean the, the, yeah. does it mean that people can, can, cannot buy it anymore? If it was you can. Only a Kickstarter? yeah, you can, you can. Yeah. The, the Kickstarter was successful, and after all the people that took part in it got their their books, uh, it went to uh, for sale. So you can you can buy it, and I recommend it highly because this is has amazing examples from all the calligraphers from around the world and it has uh, like the whole history of calligraphy with amazing examples and when a person like Christopher Hannes is choosing the the pieces that are gonna be in his book this is you know it's it's proper proper stuff and then there are his personal works but also like a lot of a lot of learning material so huh. Yeah, I recommend this highly. This is a treasure. Um, okay, if you, if you, if you're recommending it, I'm gonna buy it definitely. And guys, I'll I'll find it and I'll leave a, a link in the description for you as well. Yeah, you can get it from Christopher's uh, personal website. Seriously, this doesn't work. This doesn't uh, look like a, a handmade work, man. Like, come on, this is like such skill, such uh, details, and crazy. It's uh, when you look at it, you. For me personally, I have so many ideas right away. Exploring internet, scrolling through Instagram and stuff like this will never, never come close to, to having a book like this. Even though maybe there is not so many examples. I mean, the one that you're showing right now is quite thin. Mm -hmm. But every piece here, you can, you can look at it for hours and learn, you know, just by observing, just by looking at it at the shapes, at the harmony, how the, you know, like the shapes of the, of the letter forms is, uh, it's unbelievable. Everything is, is like man. perfectly where it's supposed to be. <laughs> it is like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. Yeah. That's, uh, sound. yeah, because I just uh, un unzipped the file. I saw one picture and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna see the others. I just wanted to record my, and man, like I'm, I'm blown away, seriously such beauty yes. like wow yeah when you see how how christopher is, is and working this, and he's oh dude yeah <laughs> what man. In some of those pieces the, there is a bit of retouching and uh, of course because like the final form is the most important one and uh, when i saw him working he's uh, preparing the ink from the chinese ink stick and then he's applying the ink with the brush on the on the nib. He's working on a, a surface that is a little bit slanted, so it's not flat. Probably depending on the uh, type of lettering he's working on. Uh, we had italic classes with him, and we used um, uh, tables uh, at an angle. Uh, and man, it was a game changer. The workshop. It was when you see like. <laughs> You try something, you follow the rules, you follow the, the handouts that he prepared for us. I'm like, okay, that's looking quite nice. Then I go to him <laughs> and he's like taking the pen and <laughs> writes exactly the same, but like 50 levels higher. And with such grace and such harmony, it's incredible. You know? but, <laughs> and then you're like, bro, okay, uh, back, to, back to the board, a few more years and maybe I'll come close with one letter, not with one word. Yeah, it's uh, very inspiring. I, I, under, I understand what you say, but I can say 100% the same thing for you, bro. Because uh, <laughs> I've seen you writing life and uh, I, I've been around you and uh, like, I can say the same for you, man. And I'm pretty this sure is, I'm not the only me, this one. This is a different level. This is a different well, level because here you see like proper knowledge and proper experience. 
and forming of whole word, uh, words and texts, especially when there's a lot of text, you know. Uh, now it's uh, more, more often you see calligraphers doing uh, cool tricks with one word or maybe like two, three words, yeah. But these guys, they can write five pages and there will be no single mistake there. And it all will be like exactly how it should be, you know? <laughs> Yeah. That's, the, that's a different but level, really. Incredible. Next one is Rudolf Koch. And yeah. uh, we got we got to keep it a bit shorter, bro, because we're already 15 minutes in. Okay. And like, uh, uh, for me, for me, it's not a problem, but uh, I told okay, you 30 cool, minutes. Okay, cool story. Uh, I do have that okay. book with me right now, but the, the picture that, uh, that you see here is uh, I was yeah. uh, walking um, around uh, Berlin and I went into to a flea market. And there was some guy selling a lot of junk. And behind him, I saw just the, the back of the of the book cover. And I and I say to my wife, hey, I think there I see an initial by Rudolf Koch. And he's like, oh, you see Rudolf Koch everywhere. You, you're crazy. <laughs> like, no, 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 seriously. I asked the guy, hey, sorry, can you show me that book? I'm like, he gave me the book. I'm like, I look at it. I, okay, I open it. And like no, and then I see this front page, yeah. I'm like, okay, for sure it's Rudolf Koch. Yeah. I asked the guy how much for the book. He looks at me, twenty. I'm like, oh man, come on, seriously, it's an old book. Like twenty, <laughs> can give you ten. He's like, okay. What? <laughs> then I reach to my pocket, I reach to my pocket, <laughs> and I pull out seven euros. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I have seven <laughs> euros. He's like, okay, give me. And then I open this book on the back Bro. and it says it's a print it was printed from from letterpress each page is letterpress it's all what? made by rudolf koch and 50 pieces produced ever man <laughs> bro wow bro bro yeah. bro bro 1910 man <laughs> and uh, look, uh, at this, like... look at this look at this 1910 look at this yes. initial man it's man this insane is like, like... Just Look, there is such sharp sharpness, man. Everything is so sharp and clean, like dude. yeah, because it was carved and pressed in paper, and it's all handmade paper. And when you have this book in your hands, you see the the words, the shapes are pressed in paper. You see the concave, and you see the light bouncing off. It's it's incredible to touch this, you know. Like the picture doesn't give Whoa. it any, any justice. Whoa. So yeah, what Rudolf Koch, man. dude, this, dude, this wait, man. So for, the, I'm, for I'm... the people that don't know Rudolf Koch, or maybe they heard, but they don't know the full story, this is the guy that Hermann Sapp, one of the greatest calligraphers and type designers and book designers of all time, when he was 18 and still didn't know what he's going to do, he went to an exhibition where there were works by Rudolf Koch and he fell in love with calligraphy. That was the starting point for, for Hermann Sapp. And so, yeah, Rudolf Koch, he was, uh, he, he was, it was German calligrapher. Uh, he was um, living in uh, like uh, end of 19th century, beginning of 20th century. He died before the second world war. Uh, but when you look at, at his works, I have one book here from 1934, I think. Uh, look, look at the signature, man. Yeah. Like, look at the hand style. Imagine this on the <laughs> wall with the, with, the, with the marker. It's like a, the king of style. Uh, he had this amazing character of, um, of the uh, Gothic script. I call it the dan dancing, um, the dancing Gothic. Uh, is the picture, is it from the book you're holding? Yeah. Yeah, man. Dude, oh, so uh, from a different one. Sorry, this is. Uh, does I have another one? Is this one? <laughs> oh, bro, how many books? It's, do you it's have? really hard to get the books uh, about Rudolf Koch. Yeah, but because, uh, look at this. That's a that's an old book. It's old. Yeah, exactly. That's from the book I'm holding right now. Huh. So he was doing making a lot of stuff, but look at this. Wow, bro. That's him. 
This book uh, I'm holding right now is from 1949, so it was made uh, after his death. Yeah, here we have the, the picture that you saw before. This like this these two pages that like I I have some uh, so orgasms those like just when I saw it, dude. This is like uh, it's like not from the, from this planet, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, look at this. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if you if you look at every single letter, maybe it's not the sharpest. Maybe it's not like the most amazing letter that you saw. But look at the whole text. If you yeah, look yeah, apart, the whole thing. It's it's just perfect, man. And it's so creative. We need to remember that this is like the beginning of 20th century. Hmm. And look at this. Oh, look know. at the letter Q. And like this is a very small sizes as well. Yeah. Right. Man. Insane. Oh my god. Yeah. So, bro, you, talk, like you, uh, there is still one book I'm I'm trying to find from him, but it's almost impossible. And when it's possible, it's like over a thousand euro. So yeah. What? Yeah. Thousand euro, <laughs> man, bro. And imagine you got the book for seven euro. This is like, bro. I, you know, at least. At least I'm happy that you got this book, you know, because anyone could have uh, bought it and just uh, destroyed it or something like this, you know. <laughs> so this is pretty cool that exactly you found this book and man, like, wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next is the... Rudo uh, Speman. Rudolf Speman? Rudo uh, Speman. Again? Rudolf again Speman. German? Rudo Speman. Yeah, it's a, it's a German calligrapher. I have two little books of his work also letterpress print so it's quite impressive because of the size and when you look at this it's all beautiful handmade paper and i mean look at this size i don't know if it will be visible but it's all letterpress so you can see that it's yeah. pressed in paper and yeah you can you can see it on the i i, I mean you see it in the pictures if you look closer so this guy designed a lot of book covers and he was more into this kind of title designs, especially from what I've seen uh, from him. I have a couple of books with his works. And another one like uh, mind blowing about the composition, about the harmony. They were so creative yet. Yeah, I mean, the piece you are showing right now it's man. look at the look at the letters man yeah it's like I, i'm like like in which this is like twin uh, which year like uh, pretty much the same period that was living rudolf Koch or not because the book that i'm holding I've, right now is from 1950 but uh he did yeah, pretty much the same period before second world war um mm -hmm. so also beginning of 20s the 20th century look at this it was all hand written yeah it was Dude, all designed this... by hand and like this example this a... i'm showing right now you i think you have a picture of this one somewhere there is this ah, one? yeah exactly okay look, wow look at the letter z if you would write what? with black what? letter <laughs> if you would be Dude. writing with black le black letter will you use a shape like this i don't think so and Man. if you look from far everything fits right if you would pull yeah, this I, letter separately out of that word, it would be like, ah, man, what is this? A genie <laughs> from a bubble? <laughs> yeah, it looks a bit like a, something between a snake and a dragon. <laughs> right. And then look <laughs> at the ligature of CH. Yeah. Wow. Look at the connection, man. Man, dude. Okay. Now, wow. Now, and, imagine yeah, that those he... guys, they didn't have Pinterest. They didn't have Instagram. They didn't see much. <laughs> of the things that we are able to see and experience today, yet I think the creativity was so much higher. Like the level well, they had, maybe they just spent well, more time on the- Yeah, what do you think, what do you think was the reason? What do you think was the I reason? I think they were just working, practicing and exploring in their own world, in their own mind, on their own desk, instead of like hmm. wasting time, you know, Searching for something media. that's not there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Anti social <laughs> media. <laughs> Look at the H yeah. in, the, in Herman. 
Yeah, man, yeah. You know, and the funny thing is, I noticed the CH here is like super nice, but here's again CH, but different one. Exactly, but it's still <laughs> like everything fit, man. right? One of the and things uh, Luca Barcelona right. is teaching in his uh, black letter workshops that when you have repeating uh, letters and when you make them by hand, it's always a little bit nicer to use different shapes just to give it a bit more life. And that's a perfect example. I'm in love with works yes. of, of Rudolf Spemann. He's, he's a grandmaster, really. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. This here is, is the... That's another story, <laughs> man. This, uh, that's an, actually an example of alphabet I'm learning right now. It's an old German what? type of writing. What, what's uh, the name? Suterlin, sometimes uh, current schrift. It's... Uh, it depends. There are little differences yeah, uh, between them. Uh, basically, it was called the Deutsche Schreibschrift, uh, Altdeutsche Schreibschrift, uh, which means like okay. it's the old German writing um, alphabet. Yeah? Uh, yeah. If you see here, like, for example, the first word here, it says Körper, uh, which is like the body. It's a K, okay. O, umlaut, so the O with two dots above. Then you have yes. R, then you have P. P. Then you have E and R again. So look at the E. It's just <laughs> crazy, no? It's those two, uh, two um, verticals. It's letter huh? E. What? Uh, yeah. So what? The first line. But where is the? The first line reads Körper und Stimme. So look at the ST ligature. Yeah. The 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 last word. Where? Yeah. Yeah. It oh, this with, is ST. It's an ST, yeah. I thought it's a, something, a beginning of an F, like what? <laughs> Crazy, no? Wow. Yeah, Whoa, so that's uh, good. Anyway, maybe not, uh, let's not waste time uh, on the, the type of alphabet, but let's focus oh. on actually the Herman Zapp. There yeah. is a book. Those pictures are from a book that I was searching for 10 years uh, before okay. I got one. So. This is it, one of my greatest mm -hmm. treasures. <laughs> this is, uh, let me show. Feder und Stichel. So this is the pen and graver. A bit of all? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Pen and graver. The story about how this book was produced. Man, another thing I have to show you in the yeah. back of the book. I have original Hermann Zapf because the number here of the book is handwritten by him. So there were Bro. only 500 pieces produced ever of this, uh, of this one. Yeah? They made also an English version, which I have. <laughs> uh, this this is incredible oh, yeah. because it contains alphabets designed by Hermann Zapf and engraved by his friend during the bombardment of Frankfurt during the Second World War. The, the guy that was working on it, he, he was cutting all those designs in metal plates. And when the bombardments were happening, he was just running to the bunker with the graver and the, the metal plate. So he, so that was the only thing he was taking with him when uh, when the city was uh, under bom bombardment. Yeah. Um, the those works here are pressed from metal plates, and you can see the impression in the paper when you see at an angle. And this example of the book, like this uh, exact book, uh, this it is was, a big book, huh? It's yeah, it's quite quite big. It has pressed logotype here. Um, that was released in 1951. And the copy I have belonged to a professor at the Oxford University. There's, Bro. <laughs> a, there's a stamp here from Oxford. I found it and I was so happy. It took me really 10 years I was looking for this. Not long after I got this one, I got two other ones the same but in english <laughs> so this one is in a very good shape okay but this Man. one wow. was never used 
it's a brand new it was never used man it's like brand new uh wow. and yeah it's over 70 years old you know? and this this one that i'm holding right now i got from julian waters thank you julian <laughs> <laughs> man dude wow oh, wow I'm, I'm, so, I'm speechless so my next question is uh, when is the uh, scriptorium berlin museum opening <laughs> this is there there will be some yeah. exhibitions i'm collecting a lot of <laughs> artifacts that that really deserve to be seen by other people um so yeah speaking of herman yeah. Zapf, i need to recommend something do that book. do that like is it are there any books that are like not as hard to find yeah to get this your one hands i'm on? holding right now it's uh, alphabet okay. stories by herman Zapp. Mm -hmm. it's his kind of like a biography i i bought it i sit down at my desk i open the first page i'm like oh i'm gonna just check what it's about and I finished it and I just sit down and I finished the whole book because it's so interesting. It's showing the, like it's, it's telling the story of uh, Herman Zapf, how he became who he became, but also it shows a, a guy that grew up after the first world war in Germany. And, you know, for me as a Polish guy, we never had anything in history about what happened in, in Germany before the Second World War. Of course, in the far history, yes. Yeah? But we didn't know what was happening with all the people after the First World War. Uh, so this book is super interesting because it's, uh, it's not only about calligraphy. It's about a, a man with passion and... But, it uh, contains it a... here, man, like the, it contains the whole history of Hermann Zapf, but also the history of type design, because Hermann Zapf was one of the people that helped to develop digital uh, type designing. And he was working on the first ever computers uh, with uh, typesetting, with uh, book uh, design. So it's super interesting. And seriously, I read it in like three and a half hours. I just sit down to but... check what it is, and it's amazing. <laughs> Alphabet Stories by Herman Zapf. Is this, is this a book that you only are reading or there are also some examples? Of no, there work? is a lot of illustrations here. A lot of illustrations oh that, uh, that show his works besides calligraphy because he was also doing kind of illustrations. He illustrations. was also a professional map uh, designer and map painter. So he was a cartographer. Um, there is... I don't know if you can see it. Let me just move this a bit because I don't see my preview on the screen. So, no, it's fine. Uh, there is a like his tryouts, you know, like a lot of sketches from him. The first digital uh, sketches for the di digitalizing um, yeah. huh. of his uh, of his font designs how fonts were produced before the computer, you see, <laughs> everything huh. millimeter paper. So there's some illustrations. Oh, it's incredible, like this book. There's another one that I would recommend if, you're in, if you would like to know a bit more about Herman Saab. It's by Jerry Kelly from New York. It's a okay. biography of Herman Saab. Also and very This is good. just for reading. No, 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 there is also illustrations. Again? I mean, come I mean, there's a lot oh, to man. read, but it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, it's, of course, uh, I guess so. Also about uh, Herman's wife. She was also a great calligrapher, died recently. So yeah, amazing stuff. Another thing about Herman Zapp, I'm very proud of uh, to be the owner of one of 25, I believe, um, facsimile of his sketchbooks from the wartime. So they wow. were reproduced <laughs> exactly how the originals were. So canvas binding, they were exactly the size of the uniform, um, German uh, Nazi uniform uh, pocket size. Yeah? 
because Hermann Zapf went to the army when the Second World War um, started, uh, but because he was not uh, not the best physical shape, they they sent him to France to draw maps, and he was just sitting there. And so this is the exact copy of his sketchbooks, the size and all the pieces that were there are inside. And then you will see, oh, yeah. I mean, look at the size, yeah? <laughs> Every, like everything here is handwritten, yeah? But that's not the most impressive thing. Man. There is a lot more. It's like a proper black book, yeah? <laughs> Great, book, <laughs> I would say. Look at this. Whoa. Bro. Wait for it. Look at this. Oh, wait, wait. Come on. Just imagine sitting, sitting somewhere, sitting somewhere during the war with a sketchbook and practicing like this. Huh? Huh. Crazy. Look at the compositions. Bro. This is just some next level stuff. Man. Uh, what well, though, bro? <laughs> <laughs> next time I come to Scriptorium, I, I really hope you show me those books in life, bro. Yep, for sure. Oh, man. And that's just bro. one, yeah? There are three. <laughs> yeah. Bro. I'm uh, I'm super hip, happy and super grateful to you for this uh, video, <laughs> guys. Guys, I don't know about you. I, I was like, the, we're like 35 minutes. I don't know how long it's gonna be the video that you're watching, but I think you're you could see me the whole time. I was blown away and so man. Hyped. And imagine this is just this is just a tip of the of the mount of the iceberg, because there is so many amazing books out there that. There is so much material. I would love to share it all, but it's just, uh, you know, it's impossible mm. in the short time. And we should do that True. more often because I still have so much more. Uh, wait, <laughs> this is, what the fuck? Anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think something like a lightning strike and it just, uh, what? Uh, oh, yeah. luckily, oh. luckily, where I'm sitting is, is a bit more quiet because uh, today, like two streets from me, there was a little war. There was a police against uh, squatters fight. And they were burning the street down and 60 police officers were wounded. And there were helicopters, tanks on the street. Just in front what? of the auditorium. <laughs> what? So yeah, Berlin, Berlin is back to life, man. <laughs> Shit is on. <laughs> well, well, yeah, uh, guys. Uh, if you want, like, first of all, guys, uh, you you should know that Tiros One is a very very busy guy. Like, uh, it, we we did this uh, video in a few days. Like, we scheduled it pretty quickly, but usually usually he doesn't have so much time. Yes, you see, he's up to do such videos. But at the same time, we're very busy. The station but... is ready for tattooing. <laughs> so, if you want to see another video like this with Tio Swan, let's uh, this video get uh, 2,000 thumbs ups. If this happens, we'll record another one. Uh, follow Tio Swan on Instagram. Uh, there will be links everywhere in the description, all the books and everything. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you, bro. And as always, keep writing. Thank you so much. Keep writing. <laughs>